So, well, I, my name is Sarah. I represent the Asian Women Coalition Ending Prostitution. And for us, the discussion of a basic income is very important when we talk about alternatives um, for women uh, both in prostitution and at risk of being recruited into prostitution. Um, here in Canada, uh, we know that um, there's a huge uh, trade in both women and girls um, and that Asian women are often trafficked into Canada um, for the purpose of the sex trade. Um, we're interested in looking at ways for women to avoid the sex trade and also exit the sex trade, which is why we're interested in a basic income as part um, of a larger social network um, that would be able to support women in support of women's equality and in support of women's economic security. Absolutely, there are other reasons. Um, primarily, women's economic insecurity is a huge reason why uh, women enter prostitution. Um, certainly, however, there, uh, there's, a, there's a sexism factor. Um, it's disproportionately women and girls that are recruited for the sex trade. Um, but also, uh, my group talks a lot about sexualized racism in prostitution. And that is to say that certain women um, of particular races are recruited for the sex trade. Um, here in Canada, we see uh, a lot of the native women recruited to the sex trade and a lot of Asian women recruited to the sex trade based on racist and sexist stereotypes. So those are the things that we are hoping a basic income will address by providing women with that alternative. What, what, we, what we know is that when women have viable alternatives, they are able to exit and they are able to um, avoid the sex trade. I think basic income has the potential to target um, many exploitative and many harmful and many non-productive um, areas of work. Um, and so a basic income would be able to both undermine those industries, but also support the people that are in those industries working um, in jobs that they probably don't want to be working in in the first place. Thank you very much.